Hello Aries, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2. This is your reading for the next seven days from the 9th of September. Aries, Aries, what the angels, spirit guides and universe like Aries to know, okay? Okay. All right, Aries, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The time is now. Start moving, Aries. We have um, Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in to tell you something. They want to talk to you. They're rushing in with some something to say that they help, want to have your back. Um, you've been very patient. You're, you might just put your toe in the water with this person. Um, you feel that something's manifesting on a communication level. There's an offer of new feeling, an uprush of the heart with the Ace of Cups, and you feel abundant like the Empress. Someone thinks of you as their Empress. Um, this, you, you're starting to feel creative, um, want things to manifest in the realms of the heart. The Magician, here magician <laughs> is at a crossroads and he's saying right i can manifest if i just write down what i want if i say what i want if i see the best case scenario and put the highest vibration in i can have what i want and you, you've mastered this magic aries because you've got the nine of pentacles you're so independent you're, you're gaining sovereignty you're wondering where to go next because you're about to get an absolute accolade. You're about to be seen for what you mastered, for what you do. And there could be an ending. You might have to end something. There'll be a termination of something this week where you might need to lay down for a couple of days because it feels that it's almost like something's ended automatically because you've got this glow up a transformation which you're going to have to sort of sit back and contemplate your next move everybody's seeing you you might want to be on your own for a couple of days or you might just get a cold that makes you sit down and think right I don't really want the burden of other people's dramas I don't want to take this burden on this ending might be a burden to you. Or this victory might not float your boat or you seem to be stuck. But there is money coming in. It could be the fact that there's no money, but the money, the Ten of Pentacles is here and this allows you to travel, um, go to a more peaceful passage. The sun is here. This is joy, healing the home someone might in give you an inheritance out of the blue or tell you come on i've got you a ticket to ride let's go on holiday i'm looking at the eight of wands there isn't a page of swords here there's messages someone's coming in to tell you that they're they want to travel to you or there's someone from overseas coming towards you at, by plane um this person i don't see a jealousy here because it's surrounded by the sun You hear about something stable, someone wants something stable with you. They don't want to be in any um, mess, uh, turbulence. But the sun melts down any malefic cards. So hold tight, Aries. If this ending comes about, it's so you can contemplate your next move. Um, you might feel stuck for a while, but not for long. Uh, let's ask there's something solid coming in, something monetary. Do the lotto. Um, okay, I'll, I'll take them. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It's something about, I think, there's some kind of glow up. Because you've mastered something. And it goes from the 9 to the 10. But it's a big transformation, whatever this is. It's a... No, it just makes you feel a bit burdened by something but 
then the money comes in and you're able to go traveling. You're able to either, it's just the sun shines right on you. It's creative, there's lots of communication, people talking. Um, don't gossip, don't listen to gossip. You might be going away for the weekend. Uh, you're very seen. Let's have a look at this one. It's forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So someone wants to come in and talk. They might be asking you to wait for them. You have to be very patient with this new love. Um, they see you as very abundant, as creative, maybe an, a mother figure. You've, you're, you've got the power in your hands as the magician. You've mastered a craft. You're very independent. People are, are applauding you. But there is something that's ending that's um, that puts you in a contemplative mood to decide your next move because you're feeling quite burdened by the fact um, you haven't got money or there's no security but it, it's about to be offered to you as soon as you get into, you're able to get out of this turbulent time towards the sun the leo the hot the hot the house <laughs> and uh, there's communication travel you might be going on holiday um, in a couple of weeks angels give me one more card for aries please for the next seven days for Aries. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Oh, Aries. Right, let's ask the angels, angels, spirit guides in the universe for the week of the 9th of September. What would you like Aries to know? What would you like Aries to know for the week of the 9th of September? Aries, please, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, give me Aries, please, for the week of the 9th. Angels, spirit guides. I didn't say that. As soon as I say it, they come out. So we've got time out. You've been taking care of everybody else, else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Yes, the timing's right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. And now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Have faith. Uh, Aries, the sun's there, you've got to glow up, um, people might be a bit jealous of it or say something or end something just as you're having this glow up, um, but the security, the peace is coming and sunshine, lots of clear stretches of creative and communicative energy, swift arrows of love with the eight of wands, let's ask the angels person most on Aries mind what would they like to tell Aries the person most on Aries mind what would they like to tell Aries the person most on Aries mind we've got so many things remind me of you sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and you and I were too young I look for you everywhere one more for Aries please Aries Aries I bury myself in work to forget you I'm starting to understand our connection and you speak to me through music Aries, someone is thinking about you strongly. Maybe send them some music. Take care, Aries, and I will speak to you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.